Now that summer camp is over, it's time for freezer camp. Guys, I am sick and tired of not having uh, meat in our freezer. So, yesterday I set a trap. I put that fish in it. Um, I put corn in it. And let's check this out. Yesterday, actually, as soon as I set the trap, almost instantly, when I was actually out here setting the trap, I heard like a, a hog is what it sounded like. And so I set the trap went back right over there by the time i went over there a javelina and her two babies came out and as you could tell this trap's not working that great because the dog's getting in there i set the trap the javelinas got in there um i was gonna shoot the mom because i wanted the babies as well but i'd rather eat a hog than a javelina and so something told me just wait just wait a second and I waited a minute and I let the javelina run off and so I went walking back to that little fence line right back there and uh, something told me just sit there and wait just wait and sit there so I did for maybe a minute maybe a minute and two big old hogs come out right over here and I mean pretty big a little too big for my liking I, didn't, I wanted a smaller hog I didn't want a big hog and uh, I waited for it and my dogs started walking up through the uh, gate that way towards the hogs and I was like oh great they're gonna scare them off why I finally got some meat right there should I just shoot the big one and so I was like all right I'm just gonna shoot a big one and then something told me just wait a second more and a smaller one came out and the dogs were walking this way and I was like great so I probably had 10 seconds to figure out should I shoot it should I not? The dogs are going to come out right here. The hogs right here. They're going to run off. I'm going to lose the meat. So, got them. And uh, I got that little hog. Check this out. So, as you can see, it's not huge. It's uh, a little bit on the smaller side, which is what we wanted. Hopefully, it won't be so gamey. But I'm really, really, really happy that we finally were able to get something that we can put in our freezer and eat for at least an, the next few days or the next week or so. So we just been trying to get meat in the freezer for a while and we just couldn't. Every time we'd get them trapped, they'd get out. Um, anytime we'd see them, we either wouldn't have a gun or couldn't get a shot. So getting this is huge. Um, I mean, talk about an answered prayer. Uh, we we got a fish that we could finally put in the freezer. We got this. So things are starting to finally look up and it's what we need. So I am super excited about having that hog. I got it all uh, skinned and uh, bled out overnight. I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. But as you could tell, I think raccoons got this again. They got the fish. They took it off there. They drug it off. Didn't set off the trap. Gate still up. But I do think some hogs came through or something because I had corn out here. All the corn's gone. The corn was all on that board, and it's not setting it off. We got issues with the uh, trap on it. I think, realistically, this door is too heavy. I got the rod sheet of plywood, the thicker sheet of plywood, and the metal piece, and I think it's too heavy to fall. So I'm going to take off the uh, messed up sheet of plywood, put the good ply plywood on there only, and then... Uh, keep the metal part on there and see if that works, but I'm gonna move the trap somewhere else um, where I have put the uh, game camera before and There are just tons of hogs and I know a lot of people are probably thinking like why Kill these hogs if they're across the property. They're not doing anything to you, but hogs are the worst They just breed and breed and breed and there's so many of them tons. I mean hundreds of them out here just on our property they tear up fence lines they tear up your roads they kill your animals so 
it's just one of those things that uh, we're gonna do and you might as well eat it in the process so I'm gonna try and fill up my freezer camp and uh, have a bunch of little uh, campers come on over but as you could tell my little hog friend right here I got them all skinned up I skinned the whole thing um, I gutted the dude he's completely gutted out as you could tell this is where I shot him put a hole I actually shot him on this side and uh, went through here a small hole can't even tell where it is and then uh, it came out this side here and blew a big old hole in him I've tried for so long to get a hog out here for almost a month so this little guy was an answered prayer and you know the thoughts in my head that made me wait there and wait a little longer and don't shoot yet wait 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 I think that was an answered prayer to me that's what I think and uh, same thing with the fish we got we didn't catch the big fish but randomly a guy came up and asked if we wanted to fish and that was food in our freezer so huh, just when things are going the absolute worst sometimes things get a little better so as a lot of you know we've been dealing with a lot of electrical issues um, we didn't have power for a long time which means we didn't have water we do have water from the windmill but when it pumps into that tank over there tank has to fill up all the way and then it will put water into the uh, house and camp house or the camp house and the trailer over there but it's not pressured because we don't have the uh, pump on and so it's not enough to uh, fill the tanks up for the uh, toilet when you flush it is not enough to make a shower um, pump out water it was just enough to come out of the sink the bathroom sink and barely trickle out and so um, we bought some uh, new breakers we're gonna put that in we're hoping that's the issue my dad's done a lot of other work on it um, literally thank God for my dad um, he's done more for us than um, most people I guess and so um, he's been coming out a lot and you guys know that and uh, when things get really really bad you can always count on your dad didn't even mean to rhyme but I'm gonna go uh, check out these breakers and see if I can get um, power to turn on on um, some of the stuff like as of right now the house doesn't even have power so I'm gonna go work on that I'm not gonna show you guys that stuff but uh, I'll let you know what happened all right so I got the breakers in um, I have not turned on the house power um, I did turn on something else that came on my dad's gonna be out here shortly he knows a little more about electrical than I do so I'm just gonna let him check it over before I turn it on and then uh, I think we're gonna be good realistically I know a lot of you guys were asking about Rusty and saying you know he looks lonely and you know not to feed him too much corn and all that stuff like I know that and I I feel really bad for Rusty and as of right now all I have is corn to feed him other than uh, grass and uh, tree limbs and all that stuff that's already in the pen but whenever the goats got out I went in there and cleaned the pen up so there's not a whole lot of grass and stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set up another little part in there that's full of grass I need to block off the parts where he can get out and put them over there that way he has endless amounts of feed and he'll do just fine and then we're gonna try to get some goats um, I don't know if we'll bring any more of my dad's goats just because they're so small but my uncle said um, he knows where we can get some goats from so we're not trying to replace Mimi we're not trying to replace um, peaches we're just trying to get um, a friend or friends for um, Rusty and hopefully if they're making noises the other goats will come back um, I do have high hopes um, because like you guys know we've heard peaches or what we think is peaches so high hopes they'll come back I think those two uh, goats are just real stubborn and uh, it's just one of those things uh, they'll come back when they come back and I'm not really worried about predators because as you could tell Rusty came back he was in great shape and he was out by himself for a month or at least with the other goats for a month and like some of you said if Rusty is missing and seems depressed that he's not around the other goats means he was probably with the other goats which is a good sign to um, know that the other goats are doing fine so I thought that was a pretty cool comment a couple of you guys left so Rusty is over here um, in this little spot 
And what I'm thinking about doing is moving him over here where he's got all this grass to eat. Um, as you could tell, he's got this spot he can get out if he really, really wanted underneath. But realistically, I don't think he can fit under there. But over there, there is a gate over there. And that is not sealed off on the bottom. So I think I'm going to go try to fix that. There is a water trough. I think I can get water in there to that. I'm going to check all around the bottom, but I don't think he can get out of that. So what would be cool is if Rusty can't get out, but maybe Peaches can come and get under the fence and get to him, it's worth a shot. So everything we do out here, we try to keep it just the quickest, easiest fix. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I can use this gate that we have, stick it on there, and be good instead of trying to put some fencing and stuff. So let's try that out. All right, so I got the uh, gate back here wired on, and now I'm gonna go around the fence line and make sure if there are any spots that Rusty can get out, I'll fix. I'm not worried about anything getting in because I'm hoping the other goats will get in. I just need to make sure Rusty, being a bigger goat, can't get out, so let's check that out. So starting here at the gate, I don't think Rusty's gonna get out of there. Um, down here, maybe I might need to uh, do something on this fence line. It looks a little high for my liking right here, so I might put some fencing there. And then on this side over here, it's good until you get over here. And then this bottom rail down here looks like it rusted out, so I'm going to have to maybe put some logs or something down here. And then uh, over here looks fine. Um, I don't think he's going to get out anywhere over here. This looks all good. He's not going to get out over here. This is all good. And then over here, everything looks good. Now over here, I think we might have to put some stuff down. And then, uh, looks pretty good. So, from the gate over there, this fence line. And then we'll do it to right here. And then from the gate right over there. So not too bad. So I'm going to go through and maybe put some logs and fencing and stuff like that. And then uh, get Rusty in here. Let him have uh, all this food to eat. And he'll have these trees for shade during the day. He could uh, eat some of the tree branches, the little bushes over there. He'll have a lot more in here to eat and shade. And uh, he could see farther out. So if the goats are coming up over there, they'll potentially come in or hang out over here rather than just this one section in the front so multiple reasons why i want to move him over here it's just good for the entire situation plus i could see him better from the camp house over there straight across so it's a win-win let's get it done all right i got the fence all the way uh fixed where i don't think you can get out now i got water pumping in here I'm glad that this works. Hopefully the float works. I don't have to turn the water off every day. But it's a little dirty. I'm going to fill it up, overflow it, kind of clean it out a little bit. And this will be perfect for Rusty. I don't have to check the water every day. He's got plenty to eat. This will be good. I'm already sweating. And the day just started. But that's the life out here. And uh, it's just one of those things. You can't complain if you signed up for it, right? As you guys can see, we got Rusty in here. He's got a lot more food to eat now. He should be a lot happier in here with all this stuff to eat. We still gotta try to get him some friends now. All right, so we got the electric working. Dad's out here. He uh, just chopped the bottom parts of the leg off. And uh, we're gonna leave the head on here because who wouldn't want to eat that? Right there with them teeth. What are we gonna do with it, Dad? Well, we'll season it up. It's 
stick it inside that smoker. I think we'll smoke it for a few hours. And you're gonna eat this snout? I don't know about the snout itself, but you don't want to chew on that? Mm, we'll, uh, we'll pass on the snout. So we're gonna stick it in this bad boy. As you guys know, we've cooked a turkey and a chicken in it. So now we're gonna do a hog. Our first ranch hog this 30 day um, so was, since we've been out here. So he's gonna pat it down. We're gonna put some seasoning on it and put it in the smoker. Thanks to you guys, we have a whole bunch of seasoning to put on this guy. And so uh, I said guy, cause he is a guy. I cut him up and I saw his uh, stuff. So I know he is a guy, but we're going to figure out what we're going to put on this and uh, get it smoking. Got some mesquite wood in there, some water in there. I had to put foil because it had a hole in the pan, but that mesquite wood should be pretty good. So is that the cactus dust? I think this is the, uh, yeah, cactus dust. We're going to load them up with some seasoning. Some of that maple. These Everglade seasonings have really come in handy. Uh, we've been using them a lot lately. Oh yeah, this one comes out good. So we got him in here sleeping. We're gonna let him sleep in his bed for a couple hours and then uh, check on him. Between 225 and 300. You ever smoked a hog out here before? Never have. Yeah. Some stuff in the ground like we were talking about doing we'll have to dig a hole and put something in the ground and then cover it but yeah we've cooked that way before but i've never done a pig in a smoker i've never had a smoker like that so try new things every day why not we got plenty of hogs out here like we said they're a nuisance we need to get rid of them so might as well eat them now that we got the pig in the smoker we gotta waste some time so why not power wash everything again So as you can see, we power washed all this. We did not um, spray the paint on there because it's fresh paint, or at least it's been there for like a day or two, and we didn't want to mess it up. So we only pressure washed the deck and these posts before we uh, are gonna stain it and clear coat it. And while all of that is drying, the deck and stuff, we are going to clear coat the uh, little accent thing we did to make sure it stays nice and weatherproof. As you guys can tell, that clear coat makes a big difference between it being super dry. and But it, the dry kind of matches the uh, tan color, but that's really going to make the cedar pop how we're going to do these poles. So I like the way it looks. Now that uh, everything has dried, we're going to go and start to stain the deck and finally see what color it's gonna look like. So we're gonna start spraying and doing all this stuff and we'll show you guys in a minute what it looks like. So here's the first coat, as you can tell, it now has a brown color to it. Um, some of it, well a lot of it's still wet, but it's starting to dry up. This was just the uh, first coat, and then we sprayed this post as well to kind of get an idea of what it might look like. Um, pretty good for the uh, first coat. Of course it's going to dry, be a lot lighter. We're going to go back to the second coat, and then maybe, I don't know seal it with something at the end depends on what it looks like i guess but it looks good for now and we're gonna wait for it to dry and then uh hope you didn't forget that we have a hog cooking as well i'm sure that's coming out good it's smelling pretty dang good Check it out. You looks like he's sleeping pretty good in there he hasn't moved at all 
And we got the dogs over here chewing on the uh, pig's feet. So nothing goes to waste. Wrap up. So since we gotta wait on the deck to dry anyways, we're just gonna go drive around and see if we can't find the goats. This is where we saw Rusty at last time, so we're just gonna go this way and uh, see what we see. Well, we just got back from driving around. No goats, didn't see anything. Saw a few deer running around, stuff like that. But, um, as you guys know, this Jeep squills whenever we drive, couldn't figure it out. And uh, so, Dad was just spraying water into the radiator, trying to uh, clean it out and stuff. And he put water on a spot and it stopped the noise. So we figured out uh, what the issue was and a lot of bolts were loose. So we found a bolt, we started tightening the rest of them up and now don't squeak anymore. So was that a fluke, Dad? Or did you mean to put water on it? Oh, I knew what I was doing. See, he knew what he was doing. So he fixed that and then we have this uh, pig that's been roasting all day or smoking all day. You wanna check that out? How long do you think it's been? Uh, probably about four hours. That's a good looking pig. But look, see how it just falls apart? Ouch. You gonna try some for the people of YouTubes? Ooh, look at that. that mm. That's some good stuff. So I think we're gonna eat some of this bad boy. Dad thinks it's done, so we're gonna eat it. And I think we're gonna call it a day. We're worn out, we're tired. We did what we could on the deck. Um, one of the parts broke on the uh, pressure washer, so he's gonna try to get a replacement part for that. And uh, we gotta buy another gallon of stain. We went through that, as you could tell, it's not finished. It needs another coat, but we ran out. And then uh, we clear, or we uh, sprayed this pole as well, which is drying, and uh, it don't look too much different than it did but it's all getting there and we still got plenty of time to finish there's no rush and uh i think we're gonna go eat this pig now so thanks for all y'all support all those comments um even though we haven't been able to comment back as much we have something in store coming hopefully sooner than later and that will help with that problem so thank you guys for watching as always and subscribing we'll see y'all next time all right, I know I just told you goodbye, but I got to show you this first. Look how good this looks. Dang, look at that. I mean, it just pulls apart so easy. It's just hot right now. But let me see where these, uh, some ribs right here. Yeah, buddy. I mean, look at that. That just comes off so easy. But, the part I'm excited about is this. The head, with the eyeball still on there. I know a lot of you thinking, disgusting. I've never uh, eaten a pig's head before, so I'm just gonna bite his cheek off. Let's try this out. Hopefully you can see me. I'm just gonna try to chew on some of this uh, cheek real quick because uh why not it's actually really good i never thought i would just eat straight off a pig's head and eat his cheek but it's pretty good so we're gonna eat this and now this is a real goodbye see you tomorrow